Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 Let's Talk video. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna talk in regards to the upcoming DLC Wastelanders, and uh, I'm gonna cover the news that we got on Tuesday with a delay because I did shoot it previously, but I kind of didn't like it. But then you guys requested for me kind of like to give my vision out of all of it. So here I am, and I'm gonna provide some. Some of my bulletin points, let's put it this way, especially on the bundles. I'm gonna share some feeling of mine. Alright, so let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so the Wastelanders. When I came across this page, basically well, the first thing that I've uh, looked at was these two power armors. And I, and I think that this is gonna be a brand new power armor, uh, sort of like XO2 or something, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I think we're gonna have a new power. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing that I ever experienced when I visit this page. Overall, the launch date is the 7th of April, as many of you already know. It's not the end of Q1, it's uh, the start of Q2, but still, uh, better to have a little delay. I mean, I don't mind as long as uh, the DLC Wastelanders is gonna be playable and bug free. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be some bugs, but I really hope they aren't gonna be like, you know, something crucial. I don't want another hate train. So, it's gonna be available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC, and also, on the same day, it will come to Steam. So, that is cool. Uh, if I were to continue playing on PC, I think I would go with Steam. But, today we also got another update, which is inside the vault of February, so, since we stopped on Steam, let's continue with the Steam thing. Well, first of all, there's some information in regards to the Steam, right? Will your atoms transfer, the character, the progress, and so on? I'll touch base that uh, with that in a, in a second here. So, a quick notification mystery pick event will come, and it will start on uh, 12 p.m. ET, February 13th, until 12 p.m. ET, February the 17th. So, I hope you've uh, saved up your script. Unfortunately, I didn't. I was playing Nuclear Winter all this time. <laughs> Alright, so, in regards to Fall 76 on Steam. So, will my current character and progress carry over if I purchase Fall 76 on Steam? Uh, yes, uh, basically, they over here say <clears throat> they understand all the effort you placed in, uh, yella, 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 and yeah. Uh, so, basically, all of your progress, your gear, your weapons uh, is gonna carry over. But uh, will my atoms and follow first membership will carry over to Steam? Uh, no, <laughs> that will not carry over. But uh, any uh, items that you have uh, unlocked in the Atomic Shop that will carry over to Steam uh, if you're planning to move from Bethesda Launcher to Steam, right? I actually really hoped that it back in the day when Fallout 76 was getting released it would automatically go to Steam because I I like to have all of my games in one place and I started off with Steam so most of my games are in Steam <laughs> anyway uh, I don't know I really don't like this part right here but let's go on uh, can players who log into Bethesda Net and Steam versions of Fallout 76 play together? Uh, well, obviously yes, because it's the same platform, so yeah, you'll still be able to play together um, no matter what the platform is. Do I need a Bethesda Net account to play Fallout 76 on Steam? Yes, you do, uh, but for the reasons, if you want to transfer the progress of your character, you need to log in uh, through Steam, as far as to what I understood. Uh, using your Bethesda credentials in Steam so you get your character like kind of like you know transferred or you know so you don't lose your stuff basically uh, but this is the part that I don't get okay you already own the game I thought maybe they're gonna give like an option for us to sort of uh, transfer the game from the Bethesda launcher to Steam with a minimum payment but <laughs> Turns out you gotta buy the game, to what I understood. Uh, will I get access to Fallout 76 on Steam if I already own it on Bethesda Net? No, you don't. While your progress and atomic shop purchases will carry over uh, across both Bethesda Net and Steam, uh, you must own Fallout 76 on Steam in order to play, uh, to play using that platform. So basically, you have to rebuy the game. Cool. 
I mean, all right. Um, I actually like maybe if I wouldn't move to Xbox because I uh, played from beta, and uh, back in December I was a little bit frustrated, as many of you already know. I played on PC for over a year. I've made atom purchases, bought a whole bunch of stuff, and then the the hacking issue and all a whole bunch of other stuff. To be honest, kind of forced me to move into an Xbox because I played started playing Nuclear Winter. I fell in love with it. Hackers destroyed the enjoyment. Uh, to what I heard, and I was planning to move to console gaming when Scarlet was gonna c to come out or Xbox Five. Uh, PS5, right? I was thinking between those two, but I was mainly looking at Scarlet. Uh, basically, f Bethesda speeded up my process of uh, <laughs> switching to console. I was actually hoping that I would still gonna be able to play on PC, but uh, it happened so that uh, really, uh, especially right now with a lot of things going on, I can't play on both platforms. So at the moment, I'm only an Xbox, but I really hope that I'll still get to play on PC, um, but the chances are pretty low because The time I wish there were 48 hours in a day and not 24 in that case I would be able to manage a lot of stuff All right, so this is pretty much the steam I just wanted to kind of like jump onto it since we have it in our topics, right? Uh, same thing. We have some information over here about steam <clears throat> Wait, no uh, I'll transfer atoms. Okay, yeah. So basically, that's ex exactly what I want to say. All right. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you already saw the trailer. Uh, let me kind of like let's watch it together. I'm gonna pause in a couple of moments that I it's remember. It's been a long journey. Appalachia has changed. I don't know if you've been following the rumors, but there's something in the mountains. Something in the mountains. People from outside are coming in. And they're coming to stay. You're from one of the local vaults, right? All of my people are at NPCs are coming. <laughs> Risk. Alright, so we get a new heavy gun. Looks like some alien stuff. Then we get these new sort of enemies, sort of also look alienish. What I'm hyped about is probably the number one big thing that I'm hyped about. A new melee uh, weapon, by the way. Here you go with a little chainsaw. Looks like a power fist with the chainsaw or something. I don't know. I'm not a melee guy. Obviously, more creatures, new quest lines, locations, according over here. Quest lines, locations, new enemies, weapons, and new reputation system. Oh. I just missed my hype. <laughs> what I'm hyped about is this. The bow. I, like, you know I've been playing a lot of Nuclear Winter and uh, I fell in love with the crossbow. <laughs> Man, that thing is a beast. I even decided to switch on the adventure mode and play with crossbows. Uh, so, the bow will be really nice if they add that thing in Nuclear Winter. Probably I'll become that, uh, I don't know, <laughs> the Wasteland Robin Hood or something like that. <laughs> So yeah, I would say the crossbow is like, I mean, the bow from the weapons. I really was looking forward to some new weapons. Uh, that's That would be my number one thing. Some new challenging enemies, for crying out loud. I hope these guys are not going to be easy. But some challenge, you know. That These are like my, what I am really, really want. But obviously, of course, with the addition to the, uh, like having NPCs, having a new reputation system, which means we're gonna have a lot of new activities to do. Uh, basically, it's good to jump back on board and uh, start doing quests. Well, in my case, I still need to do a whole bunch of quests that I uh, on PC I did everything, on Xbox I didn't. <laughs> and I actually paused my uh, gameplay on the adventure mode for Xbox because I don't know why. But I really have this feeling that this is gonna be a separate mod, and we're gonna have to start fresh. I don't know. Uh, this is—I'm not a news channel. Just wanted to cover this, like uh, you know, my thoughts, right? So I followed the news, but I don't remember reading anything that where they say that we'll be able to use the same characters on this mod. Maybe I've missed it. So. Don't get me granted here. If you know that information for certain that the Bethesda mentioned, you will be able to use your current character to play this DLC. Uh, 
can you comment down below with the link to that news post because I looked all over it maybe I'm blind I didn't find it because uh, you know my time is super limited I wanted to do this video in more details with research but I don't have time for research so I'm just like uh, making a commenting whatever I'm seeing right now on my screen <laughs> So that's my first thought in regards to the Wastelanders, how I see it, and basically I think it's going to be a separate mod. And yeah, I am happy about it. I won't say I'm super hyped about it, like go, ah, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, new content, getting new content, new areas, new locations, new quests, the reputation system, uh, that is cool. And that will give us like an area where we can like all dive into and have our adventure and experience the stuff together you know and then we'll pass it on and then we're gonna be <laughs> waiting for Bethesda to release something new by the way have you decided what uh, fraction are you gonna be joining the Raiders or the Settlers because I, I still can't decide although I did bring up a post over here and 234 people have voted already and it looks like 64% are going for the Settlers and only 36% are going for the Raiders I'm kind of like more like swinging to the Raider side, you know, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick in the neutral zone because uh, by doing the reputations, you sort of unlock um, the uh, unique recipes, outfits, I believe, so items per whatever faction you're, you're selecting. So I was thinking maybe it's possible like you, you go join the settlers, you do like the good thing become an ally unlock everything and then you just you know like uh, screw you and your camps I'm going for the Raiders <laughs> and switch sides and unlock everything over there or the other way around you can go with the Raiders and then over a uh, sudden you get hit by a rock and like oh, I want to be a good guy now <laughs> so yeah um, so I've made this post three days ago we actually four days ago this is not I think no I don't know but it looks like a lot of people gonna go for the settlers all right so I think there is nothing else that I want that I've uh, noticed over here well apart from the power armor yeah I might be wrong I'm not sure okay so uh, how to play okay current Fallout 76 owners will not need to purchase additional content in order to play Wastelanders when it launches uh, this expansion is completely free for Fallout 76 owners I'm actually really when I read this part and I stopped, I was like, "Yeah, hey, nice, is good going, but there's the keep keeping up to your promise." <laughs> but then I continue reading, and I'm like, "I, I knew it was going to be something." Uh, for those who want more, Cha ching <laughs> We're also offering to purchase two faction-themed content bundles as well as combination bundle which will give players access to all exclusive cosmetics and camp items mm. sounds good right <laughs> all right so if we're gonna take a look this is the Raider bundle which I really love it and I'm gonna go into a little bit of details because there is something I'd like to point out I'm gonna open them right here so they're gonna be kinda bigger uh, first of all they haven't mentioned any pricing second of all I have a big 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 sort of like you know feeling that this is gonna be behind a paywall and not purchasable via atoms uh, like I just feel it that, that this is exactly when they're gonna happen because knowing Bethesda they love to monetize stuff and I have a fear that we're gonna get another uh, another hate train <laughs> maybe well in any case I mean I'll still love playing the game I'll keep playing the game no matter what and you know bad news also PR <laughs> but anyway uh, let's go over here so the settlers I was really hustling between the settler power armor uh, wait, 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 wait. and the raider power armor what the What's going on I wanna take a look at this are you serious wow yesterday it worked oh my god you gotta be freaking kidding me oh well I wanted to show you this in more details but I guess I'm just gonna have to do something like this alright 
not sure if ah no you can't see because my face is over there a little bam there we go <laughs> look at the uh, Raider outfit right you can see that we got the full outfit then we got something got to do like with a bandana and a helmet but if you take a look at the settlers outfit you don't have a bandana so that's already kind of minus the other thing is I mean this outfit looks like I don't know some dirty whatever you know N not nothing like super cool I mean to me to my my first impression this is this is no go with the in terms of outfit like the Raider outfit looks really nice looks like wastelander stuff like let's go lock and load shoot shoot ready ready done you know so this is the first thing I wanted to point out in regards to this all right let me get back my beautiful face right here hey there <laughs> all right so uh, man you know the reason why I deleted my uh, video that I've made on Tuesday is because I was jumping from one point to another so let me jump to another point again the price I am I am I am actually predicting that the price is gonna be twenty dollars per neither settlers neither Raider or thirty dollars for both that's what I think is gonna happen but I might be wrong and I really hope I am wrong and I hope that this is gonna be purchasable via Adams but I mean, just look at this. You get a power arm. You get, uh, okay, stash skin, which is okay. Uh, a flag, outfit, a uh, backpack, loot back, camp paint that we never actually got before, and some, uh, you know, uh, camp item. So this is like um, a camp item. It, it actually looks like a free state one. <laughs> that we got also from a free state bundle so yeah uh, for some reason I don't think that this is gonna be Adam purchasable well like I really hope I'm wrong here like I really hope I'm wrong but yeah I'm I'm excited not hyped like you know crazy hyped but excited that's my honest feedback like NPCs new content is always good especially for the game that you love to play you know maybe that will make me uh, go back to more adventure mode gameplay than nuclear winter that I'm actually addicted to right now <laughs> to be honest I'm really addicted to that thing alright so I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover yep been talking a lot do apologize that I've been jumping from one point to another you know me I don't script my videos and I kind of like speak from what I see and deliver sort of the first impression well this is not the first impression because the first impression video I was jumping from one thing to another I could have uploaded it but I don't know I just I don't know if it wasn't for you and you guys asking me on the stream and I've answered a couple of times and then you know you guys kind of persuaded me to do this video gotta be honest so these are my thoughts I'm super hyped about the bow uh, about the new enemies I hope they're gonna be tough some new challenge uh, by the way can't think of it they haven't mentioned no updates for nuclear winter I'm really hoping that they're gonna bring some more stuff to nuclear winter as well and that is actually gonna be cool but anyway Let's cut at the end here. Uh, comment down below your thoughts, your expectations. What do you think? Are you super hyped about it? Not super hyped? Like, or are you like me? Like, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm waiting for it, but I'm not like super hyped about it. <laughs> what are your expectations? How do you. And th the most thing that I'm curious about what do you think about these bundles? Are they going to be atom purchasable or are they going to be for real cash? If they're gonna be real cash, expect the hate train to come back. Choo choo. That's where I'm gonna call it the end here. So if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Saw from Ukraine. So I have from Ukraine, and I hope you enjoyed the show.